Hello, my name is Bobby Beard. I'm from Dayton, Tennessee. And I've been asked to uh, mention about my faith and what's probably one of the most important things. Well, I remember we were, uh, I don't know how many years ago it's been, but it's been a few years. We'd been partying and all this stuff, and uh, I was driving a car, and uh, and I must have been in pretty bad, pretty bad shape, because I pulled out on the road and I could hear this horn blowing at me, car horn, you know, like like it was about to get hit. And I, I, I just told God, I said, I said, please, please don't let me die like this. And so the car didn't hit me, and uh, that's 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 about the end of the. You know my little deal there, but uh, it really, really, really shook me up. It really did. How did that shape your faith, having gone through that? Well, you know, you know, we all make mistakes. Well, you make mistakes every day, and I probably hadn't lived the best, you know, best anybody could. But, uh, but uh, you know, you try, and uh, uh, but it, but it helped me. What? What happened in your life after that that wouldn't have happened otherwise? How did you look at life differently? Well, I don't know. I played played gospel music a lot. About 20 years we did. We had a group there. We traveled everywhere playing gospel music. What's that, what's that help? And you know, help, help your faith. And uh, uh, I've just I've just done a lot of things, you know. And. Uh, was that accident before or after Vietnam? This this was uh, this was before Vietnam, I think. And uh, we we'd been partying somewhere, doing something. I just remember I, I was going to go back home for something. But anyway, I, I was going to pull out on the highway. Was the whole deal was. And this and uh, I, I could hear that car horn real loud, you know. And I, I knew he's I just knew he's going to hit me, you know. So I just asked God to watch over me and what he did. So faith is always very difficult for people to talk about. Right, it is. They're afraid of being judged, you know. You've lived your life out pretty full bore. Right. Played music a lot and they don't done ever been everywhere, been halfway around the world. And uh it just changes you. It sure does. And you said you were in nine countries during your Went Vietnam to nine tour? On the USO tour. And, uh, well, I, I can name them, but, but we, we, we went far east, what we did. And uh, it was nine countries. We stayed going 90 days. Then came back and got into music again, and, you know, and it, it never did pan out. And I came back, <laughs> when I came back off the U.S. old tour, they draft me in the Army. <laughs> so, <laughs> that kind of blew my music career there. <laughs> Yours and Elvis. <laughs> yeah, poor old Elvis, I just let him go on. <laughs> let him finish to death. I thank you so much for taking the time to do well, you're this. You're just welcome. You're, you're welcome. I hope what maybe I've said probably helped somebody. Great. Okay. Thank you.